Hello there everybody and welcome back to another video on the Lennon Soph channel. So today the camera is hello and welcome back to the Lennon Soph channel. Again, we are, um, not we, I'm all done. So, um, today I'm going to be doing a pencil case <clears throat> haul and what you should have in your pencil case and also a pencil case organization <clears throat> because I had this old pencil case since like first grade or something and it's just really old and I want to get a new one so I'm going to be bringing you that video today on how to organize your pencils, pens, highlighters, markers, erasers, calculators, and all of that, and showing you my new pencil case and how I organize it. So I hope you enjoy this video. Anyway, so the first thing that's probably the most important is pencils. So um, this is a mechanical pencil. I prefer mechanical pencils to real wood pencils because um, the tip is finer and you don't need to constantly be constantly sharpen your pencil. You can just click the back and a new lead comes out, which is really handy. Um, so there are two sides to this pencil case, which I really like. Um, there's one side where I put all my pencils and um, erasers and colored pencils, and then on the other side would be pens, highlighters, calculator. So, um, of course, the first thing is mechanical pencils. That goes in the pencil side. Of course, as you can see, I have a lot of mechanical pencils because a lot of my friends ask to use pencils, either don't give them back or they just get get lost because I lose stuff easily. <laughs> anyway, so the next thing would be uh, an eraser. You, I got this really cool eraser dispenser thing so you basically just put your eraser in and then if it would actually go in this would be a lot handier but there we go uh, and then you just push it up and the eraser comes out um, so eraser is very handy for all those mistakes that you make um, so that would go in the pencil side in my opinion um, next is colored pencils. Um, so these aren't mandatory because if you're in high school, I think you don't really use them often. But um, I like to keep some handy just in case the teacher does ask to, for you to uh, color something. But then again, you have if you have colorful pens. Which brings me to the next thing, by the way, that would obviously go in the pencil department. Not department. <laughs> anyway, the next, that brings me to the next thing, which is colorful pens. So usually if you want to write a pen, it's blue or black, but I like keeping a whole bunch of colorful pens handy because, because it's really useful to organize your notes or if you're writing them in different sections and one section can be blue, one section can be red, one section can be purple, one section can be green, and all all those different colors. And I just really like them to keep myself organized and so I so the notes are easier to read. So that would go in the pen size. So the next thing is highlighters and highlighters are pretty they're pretty useful and teachers um, asked you to use them a lot sort of I don't I don't really know my teachers kind of do I don't really know <laughs> anyway so I would put that in the pen side and also your calculator not everybody puts their calculator in 
in their pencil case because I think it's just easier to put in your bag, but I always have my pencil case with me, so I think, and I bring it home, so if I ever need my calculator, I think it's really useful just to have inside your pencil case. So, in my opinion, that would go on the pen side. You can, when, you can, if you have a double-sided pencil case, you can do whatever you want with it, or if you have like a worn pouch pencil case, then that's fine too. You, this is just a way that I like to organize all of my pens, pencils, erasers, and whatever. Uh, this is completely optional and not really necessary at all, but I like keeping a little roll of tape. This doesn't really look like tape at all, but it is. It just came out a little dispenser thing. Uh, so I like having tape because there's always that one person that is like, oh, do you have scissors? Oh, do you have tape? So that's handy and also if you rip something, like your homework, you can just tape it up, but homework is for home, um, so I don't know why you would need to bring this, but I, I, I just find it handy and I like having it in my pencil case. So, um, that is all your pencil case sorted out, a nice full fresh pencil case and I got this pencil case at Staples and also most of the things I got at Staples too like my calculator, all my pencils, um, my eraser dispenser I got in like Montreal or something at a fancy art store, I don't even know. But a lot of these things are from Staples and you can get it from, I don't know, like Walmart, Target if you live in the US because we don't have Target here in Canada anymore. So uh, Walmart, Target, Staples all the places that sell back to school stuff or pencils uh, they would for sure have all this stuff um, and also this isn't you don't need to organize yourself like this you can just do it however you want but this is my way of organizing stuff anyway i really hope you enjoyed that video and if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new um, and also comment down below what videos you want us to do or what challenges or anything um, you want us to do and I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye!